Hey y'all, it's your girl T Speaks. Just back with another quick video. Um, I wanted to talk about how the law of attraction really works. I admit, I was a skeptic at first. <laughs> I really, really was. But, you know, with 2020 hitting and everybody sitting down for the majority of the year, I was like, let me go ahead and try this law of attraction thing out. And so I just started just messing with my subconscious by um, reading certain books on, on the law of attraction and attracting wealth and attracting abundance and the things that, you know, my heart desires. Um, I started um, doing a bunch of meditation, during, especially during the summertime when, you know, uh, things were locked down pretty, pretty tight. And I started doing my I am affirmations, just listening to them in the morning, just choosing a YouTube channel of I am affirmations, and just listening to it right when I woke up. Now, the thing about it is that you have to give it some time to work because usually, you know, I mean, me being who I am, like I like things quick and fast, <laughs> like who does it? Like if I start, you know, a new workout regime, like I want to see results like the next, the same day. But with the law of attraction, you kind of have to just like let it go, like do let it do its work. And so um, and then also you want to be working on yourself in the interim. And so the law of attraction is only going to respond to the things that you put effort into. And what do I mean by that? If I mean, what I mean by it is what everybody else talks about, like what you put your focus on, you attract what you get, you attract who you are, you attract what you put your mind to. And so this year, I really wanted to attract um, checks, <laughs> just checks coming out of nowhere, just money, <laughs> abundance. You know, I was um, tired of living a certain way. I was tired of you know, feeling like, why does everybody else have checks just coming in and I don't? And so I was like, well, let me, you know, just go ahead and, and test the waters on this law of attraction thing. And so um, long story short, I have been getting a ton of checks, but I did have to do work to get the checks, i.e. sell things online or do, you know, pick up extra gigs on the side, like whether it was delivering groceries or delivering DoorDash or some type of food delivery um, I had to sell things, like I said, at the, you know, really put the, really get the momentum going. I had to put in the effort and the action in my life to get the checks going. Um, and so with that being said, I want to just, uh, I'm going to post a picture of this letter that I got in the mail from a freaking car that I'm driving that I paid off damn near two years ago and I'll post the, the proof so the letter says um, hi Tony while auditing the above reference account we determined that you overpaid certain late fees on your auto loan referenced above therefore we have included a refund check in the amount of $305.70 with this letter and then the letter goes on to talk about how they broke down the amount and if I have any questions to please contact you know the, the loan uh, company. When I got this check in the mail this morning, <laughs> I was like, this must be um, a mistake. <laughs> I was like, they must have did some accounting error. Because, you know, at first you, you get the check and you're like, mm, this is, I paid this loan off damn near two years ago. And I'll post proof of that, too, in, in, the, um, in the description. And I'm just like, I, I paid off this loan January 2019. This car has been paid off for damn near two years. Why in the hell am I getting a check on a loan that I paid off <laughs> two years ago? It's because of the law of attraction, I believe. And so now I get this check for $305.70 just out of the blue. And it's because I was in alignment with what I really wanted. Every time my phone rings, it's about check or love. That's it. Money or love. That's it. Like I'm really just really focusing in and honing in on what it is that I want. And if I don't like if I don't like what I'm doing, I change directions. If I don't like the results that I'm getting, I change directions. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it's like even when you're dating, even when you're dating, I know this is kind of going off on a tangent, but now I'm just all focused. Even when you're dating, 
if you are dating someone and they are not meeting the, the buckets that you want, or if you're not having a good feeling or a good vibe about them, or if there's just your, your intuition is saying, warning, warning, mm, they're nice, but I don't really know about this. I don't really know about this type of behavior. I don't know if I can really mesh with this. I've been down this road before. You know, if they're like late calling you back or if they take forever to text you back or if they flake on you, you know, a couple times. I even say one time you flake on me once. That's enough. Like you have to you have to be willing to let the law of attraction know I am not willing. I am no longer willing to accept this behavior from anyone else or from myself. And the law of attraction will support that. And so with me, I was no longer willing to be living paycheck to paycheck. I was no longer willing to sit by idly and work at a job from from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and be miserable. I was no longer willing to have a bunch of stuff but no money in my bank account. I was like, that the new Macy's jackets that I just purchased a month ago, I'm returning them because they still have the tags on them and I haven't even wore them yet. So I'm going to return them. I'm misusing the law, the universal law. You know what I'm saying? So it really is just a mindset and it really is just attacking, literally attacking your subconscious first thing in the morning. <laughs> When you first work, wake up, I know it's hard because all we do is wake up and we go straight to our phones and we start checking out Instagram and checking out our email and checking out our text messages and all of our social media apps. And then we get downloaded in our Yahoo uh, news feed and we download all this negative stuff, all this other stuff that um, really reinforces our insecurities and the fact that we're not some of us are not living the life that we would really want to live and so we have to stop that urge and go to something positive first to hit our subconscious first thing in the morning hit the youtube and and click on some i am affirmations or put on um an audio book that you know will capture your attention and get your your brain going and will get you into a positive momentum and then that way you can at least set yourself up to have some sort of normal, normal, beautiful day. And things are going to come throughout the day. It is what it is. But the law of attraction is real. Because when I say I paid off this car two years ago and I'm getting a check in the mail for damn near what the car payment was costing me. Okay, now we really have in our conversation two years later out of the blue you cannot tell me that the law of attraction does not exist i want you to try it for yourself let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about this video in the comment section um like comment share and subscribe and i love you guys all till next time t speaks bye